Spring is here, and I've been spending a lot more time outside, which also means I've been using my garden hoses again. Last year, I added quick disconnects and some new sprayer heads to make watering way less annoying. But there's one thing that still bothers me. The sprayer ends up just flying around. It looks messy, it gets dirty, and I know I can do better. So I'm making it a holster, a little mount to hold it neatly on the wall. I've tried this before. I measured the sprayer, uh, made a design in CAD and printed it, but the fit wasn't quite right. And the incline of the sprayer holster just wasn't good. Most of the downward force was really pulling the sprayer in a different direction. And uh, it was just a poor design choice on my part. So this time I'm gonna be doing it differently. This time I'll be scanning it with my RevoPoint Miraco. Instead of guessing at shapes and dimensions, I'm going to scan the actual sprayer and use that as the base for my design. I'm still very new to using this scanner, and this is the setup I thought would work. Dark backdrop, lots of markers, including the marker towers. I set everything up and started to capture, but the black grip and other features weren't capturing properly, and the towers just seemed to get in the way. So I brought out the scanning spray and ditched the towers and got it done. Like with the toy car, I did several separate scans covering all sides. Once I had carefully captured the geometry of the sprayer, I loaded everything into RevoScan to refine and merge the scans into a 3D object. Once the scan was cleaned up, I brought it into Blender and just gave it a little breathing room scaled it up a tiny bit to make sure the sprayer will actually fit in the holster. Then it was off to Fusion 360 where I recreated the original holster design. This time, I used the scan to carve out a perfect recess that matches the shape of the sprayer. And then printed it, and the result is amazing. <laughs> just, just kidding, I made a big mistake. Did you catch it? Yeah, I somehow forgot to put in any sort of draft or angle on the shape of the sprayer, so there's no way to lift it out. Smooth. So I went back in and fixed it up. It took a couple of tries, but I finally got something that works. Okay, and here are all of the attempts. Uh, attempt number one with CAD. This looks very smooth. I used a much larger overall shape and uh, it fits, but just barely and it's kind of loose. Anyways, uh, not the best design and not the easiest to get in and out. There we go. So, uh, how do we do it? Now here is the first of the scanned versions. You can see, I made a mistake when I did this. There's no, there's no way to get this in there. Um, that hole at the top is too small. Even though this would perfectly fit into that cavity, uh, it's not gonna happen. So here's the third version. And as you can see, I definitely, I cleaned up some of these edges, widened things out a little bit, and we finally get, get something that fits. Ooh, 
nice and snug. That is actually really snug. You can see how well that contours to the edge of the sprayer head. But this is still a little a little too a little too snug for my liking, I think. Uh, <laughs> so I took this version and loosened it up just a little bit more and printed this in Polymaker Polywood. Uh, this was printed on the A1. The original was printed on the Rat Rig V Core 3. And finally, we have a version that fits all oh, so nice. And it's not going anywhere. Oh, it might fall out. Uh, <laughs> but um, it does fit very snug. It's easy to put in there and it kind of clips in. So that is exactly what I wanted. And mounted on the wall. The hose is going to hang straight down and keep everything nice. It's not going anywhere. Finally, I mounted it to the post, dropped the sprayer in, and now everything is clean, organized, and right where it should be. Sometimes it can take a few tries, but when it finally worked, totally worth it. If you're into 3D printing, scanning, or just solving small problems like this, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Roman for DS Creative Studio. See you in the next one.